Hello everyone, my name is John Melisondra and today I'm gonna teach you how to paint this wonderful painting by only using Lumino Tolos May palette and don't forget to subscribe if you have to subscribe yet and please don't forget to hit that bell button if you want to know my latest videos in the future Before I'm going to start the tutorial, I'm going to introduce to you first the materials that I'm going to use So I still be using Lumino Tolos May palette and I have the titanium white, the hollow blue, the brilliant red the medium yellow and the raw armors I'm using in middle course because I want you to learn to mix and get the side colors you want okay and these are the possible brushes that I'm gonna use so I still be using the number 12 nylon flat brush the handle um, the number 8 um, nylon flat brush the handle I also have here the number 8 nylon flat brush or handle and the number one line reverse for the details and I'm not sure if I'm gonna use this number 10 um, bristle flat brush white bristle um, no handle but I'll try to use this um, this the, um, this type of brush for the four so I think I'm gonna I'm not, I'm not sure if I'm gonna use this one so I'll just um, put that as an extra okay so those are just the possible brushes and I have here my canvas it's um, 12 by 16 inches just three coats of prime white acrylic on CSJ so I made it myself and water to thin the paint and water spray if we're gonna need to wet our canvas and it will be easier for us to blend the colors okay so today I'm gonna paint a tiger yes a tiger and I wanna say thank you for the people who suggested this um, this subject so here we are uh, here it is um, I'm granting your suggestion and I hope you enjoy this tutorial and if you are painting just follow what I'm doing and just have fun painting okay so I think I'm gonna start now I'm gonna start with the sketching so first I'm gonna use uh, a smaller brush so I'll be using this uh, number 8 um, nylon flat brush blue handle and the raw umber for the sketching with white so I'm using white mixing it with the raw umber so that it will become a little grayish not so dark and I, I can easily cover it with uh, lighter colors like especially yellow and red so um, that's why I'm mixing it with some other colors like white make it lighter so I, I need to wet it add water in it to make it fluid then I can easily create, I can easily drag it into canvas. Okay, so let's sketch first. And I'm gonna put the head here. So we're going to create a circle first. There. So this will be the head of the tiger. And we're going to divide it in the center no not in the center but um, in a little side because the tiger will be looking on the right side so we're going to divide it something like this and another one here for the, the eye there so just like you're painting a portrait human portrait Then this part will be the nose. Then we're gonna put the eye here and another eye here. Yes, this will be the eye of the tiger. Then the nose. We're gonna do it this way. will be the eye of the tiger there then we're gonna divide a little here then this will be the mouth so just triangle no it's a it's a little curve at the bottom 
I think it's not hard to do it this way. You just have to, even if it's not that perfectly, um, perfectly the same with the reference, as long as the proportion is okay or correct, that will be good. Don't worry about it. As long as you're not making a human portrait, so do not be so. Um, do not be so strict with the with the rules when making some animals portrait because as you see uh, most of the animals have the same face so that's just our observation as humans we can't actually see the difference of their faces so it's fine if just do it that way okay there we're not going to paint the the stripes, the black stripes. We're we'll gonna do it later. So this time we're gonna do first the white and the orange colors of the tiger. We're gonna do the darks later on. So this will be the. I'm not sure if this is the fastest way, but I'm gonna do this in the fastest way possible to paint a portrait of the of this cat or this tiger. So this will be the the ear. some details here so this tiger seems so fat I'll just make a little detail yes that's it so they can see the distance of the proportion there so I'm four There. So we have now this, the first step is the sketch. So now we're gonna do the second, which is adding the background colors. Yeah, I think I'm excited adding the backgrounds. So I'll be using the same brush. So I'm gonna put first some browns. Yeah, I think I'm gonna use the bigger brush, which is this one. Number 12 flat brush with the brush dip it into the water and then we're going to mix for a little orange red and yellow there. yes I think we just have to make it orange or darker yeah I think I'm gonna use I'm gonna make it darker I'm gonna add umber on it then red and yellow there and then we're gonna put it in the center this is a Siberian tiger so it has brownish orange um, um spots or I'm not really sure what you call this one stripes okay so here there 
And what's right here? I'm gonna put orange. So I think I'm going to cover this part with this reddish brown color. sure that it will be sharp okay there so I'm going to back to the other brush which is the smaller brush and I'm gonna put some darks so I'm gonna use this raw umber with a little white or you can use just the raw umber so here I'm gonna put some blacks Especially this part here. And I'm gonna do this as fast as possible. So maybe one hour, not sure. So this is a kind of little complicated subject. So I just wish me luck. And I'm gonna use some white, create some gray, yeah. Yeah, I just have to create some gray. Just add white to the, to the raw umber. And we have to cover some parts with some gray colors. This will be the second step, adding some what I call this um filling the colors with grey or or underpainting, something like that. Okay, I'm not sure what you call that. Underpainting, first coats or something. Yeah, I think it's first coats. So here we're gonna put some more. I want to make it this grey color for the underpainting. And also here, I think I'm gonna make it dark. This one, especially the, the side of the ear. So we're gonna make this as dark as possible. And also the tip of the, the tip of the ear. So I just I just I just use the plain raw umber and also this one here. And then the tip of the ear. It has a really irregular ear. Okay, now I'm gonna mix it with with a lighter color and then I'm gonna make I'm gonna darken this part make it lighter I'm gonna make this a little bigger yeah So we are now adjusting, creating some trial and error method. It's very important. Because
because we are still experimenting during the stage so that's wicked and still looks good so far and then I'm gonna add more white then we're gonna cover everything with this color it's a little gray yes That's why we're using very light colors because if you cover it with light lighter colors you can cover it easily. And then also here, I think they should have orange in this part. So we're gonna cover it first with some grey. Yeah. And then also here. So this is the first step, which is the underpainting, and we're gonna we're gonna to okay. Yeah. Does it look like a tiger? I'm not sure. So here, I'm going to use another browns, more yellow, because I'm going to put some browns here. Yeah. And then also here. Then you can actually blend the edges. There. Yeah, just blend the edges. There you go. You can do it in every edge. Yes, just like that. Cleaner brush. I think I also need to put more on this here. And then I'm gonna use again some gray. Then I'm gonna cover here. Yeah, it took me 20 minutes for just the underpainting. Okay. And I think I'm gonna do first. Wait, I'm going to add first some color of the nose. It's just pink, so red and white. Just mix the two colors. 
and we're gonna create a nose pinky nose there okay and now I'm gonna I'm ready for the background so I think I'm gonna make I'm gonna create a dark background I'll be using first this umber with some glue color I want to emphasize the tiger so I'm gonna use a dark background I'm gonna make some blue here some yellow of course to create some greens there So you can blend the edge, it doesn't matter if um, you cover some parts of the lines, yeah just make it, just add background colors in it. Actually, there's no special technique in when adding this background. Just um, just paint it over. Just cover it all with with these colors. Okay, here we are. Okay, so I think it's a little dry, and I think I'm gonna start now with the eyes first. So I'm excited painting the eyes of the tiger. Okay. So I'm not sure if I'm going to, yeah, maybe. I think I'm gonna zoom in so that you can see clearly. that part first okay I'm gonna use the umber I think I'm gonna use the smaller brush the number one in the brush still wet some parts still wet so careful yeah it's 
So this will be the eye. This very circle. Are here. Now I'm gonna put some a little tiny details. I'm not sure what this part is, but I'll just put some details like this one. in the other eye also so it should be in proportion with the other eye so you need to see it further what what will be the outcome yeah some parts still wet here so I'm using the nor the the raw umber the plain raw umber everyone actually you can mix it with with blue to make it darker but um, I think it, it it would be necessary for this one yeah so we have another eye and then we're gonna mix for orange So yellow and red. Make some orange, more more yellow. And a little white, yes. For the eye. And then this color, we're gonna make some raw umber to make it darker. And then I'm gonna put it at the center. Make it darker. And also this one, it should be darker. Yes. again to make it uh, way darker there and then clean your brush and then you're gonna use the plain romber the pure romber and then we're gonna add some I in the center here. Okay. There. So I'm gonna use the in the row umber. I'm gonna make it with blue. So blue will make it darker. 
I want this part to be dark. Anyway, it's still wet. So I'll proceed in this. On the nose part. So, just extra careful. There should be a line here. So it's gonna be really a little tricky. I think this one is still small, so I'm gonna retouch that later on. Don't worry. Don't worry me. <laughs> so this part should be dark. Yes. And then this one also, make it dark, make it bigger. And then there should be a line here. And here. Then this part will be the mouth. So we need to make it dark. There. Okay. Yeah. And then I'm going to use a plain white here because I'm gonna I'm gonna add I'm gonna make the eye look more realistic so I'm gonna add some white here there it's a reflection on the eyes and also here And then okay yeah that this eyes really look more realistic now better okay so I think I am now going to zoom out because I'm gonna start adding more details here yeah I think we don't need to zoom it out Does it look like a fox? Yeah. Okay. Okay, so uh, first I'm gonna add some highlights on the on the on the orange part. And I'll try to use this one, which is the Bristol flat brush that I have told you a while ago. So I'm gonna use the raw umber, the red, and the yellow. And I'm gonna add some white with yellow. This is the highlights now. And it should be lighter, so I'm gonna use the red, the yellow. It should be light brown or something of less color. And the brush should be dry, and you can push the brush, push the, push the, 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 the bristle or the hair, and then you can slowly create some textures. You can use the punching, 
just to create textures on the on this part yeah just do it this way just like you're painting you're making okay I'm gonna add some red and yellow to make it more orange red and yellow there just do it this way Just put textures on it at the top of the nose. There. And then also here. And also here. twist it way only adding the highlights on the top part okay just glaze it glazing and do not overdo it everyone make sure that you can see the textures still you can see the textures I'm gonna add some yellow and then also here. a little here and then I need also to put some spark and then also here we get more light and add some white and yellow to make it lighter and also here I think Just like you're creating some grasses, yeah. Just downward or any part of the strokes, any direction of the strokes, that's fine. So I'll be using this brush, it is the number 8 flat brush, nylon flat brush, um, short handle. So I'm gonna try to put to, to use some white. So I think I'm gonna try to use some plain white here. Add a little water to make it fluid. And then here. We're gonna create textures on the hair for I think I, I mean for sorry everyone you can actually use the number one liner brush Yeah. 
front end and the sides. Uh, it's okay if it looks big, the four looks big, it's fine. Uh, uh, but uh, do your best to make it small. So, also here. I thought we can use the, sm the smaller brush, but uh, let's try to control our hand and use this brush. This brush is challenging, way challenging than the small brush. here you can make it bigger actually it doesn't matter if you look at it in the distance it will still look like for So we need to kill to, we need to control our our strokes. Even if it looks bigger, that's fine. And also here. Nice, and also here. So we need to do it more slowly and do not overdo it. Everyone always remember that. Uh, as long as you can see the textures, that's fine to look good at a distance I'm mixing on another grey 
yeah gray with white and also here Now I will try to put some shades. Okay. So I'll be using the raw umber, mixing it with this grey color here to make it a little lighter, not so dark. So here. So just do it this way. If you are in a hurry, you can do it this way, the technique. Just use this flat brush, bigger flat brush, to create these textures. And then also here we're gonna put more and then here. Also here, so I'm gonna make I'm gonna mix for a little darker and make this part dark. Just have put some more shades on this part. Just just to make it look dark here. And also here. And in here, yeah, we have to make it more look complicated and detailed. It looks like a fax for me. <laughs> and this part will be dark. And by the way, everyone, if you are asking me where, where I find the photo, it's I downloaded it from Pixabay. So if you need something, like a reference, you can go to pixabay.com And honestly, they are not sponsoring me for this one <laughs> So... So honestly, thank you to the owner of this photo I haven't asked permission because it doesn't need... It doesn't need it, but honestly, thank you to, to her, okay? 
So here we're gonna put more darks. Darker shades everywhere. Okay. Yes. It looks better now. And then it's very odd. It looks like a fox. When a tiger doesn't have any fo on any stripes. It looks like a fox. And I'm gonna use some um, this umber, umber and red with yellow. Because I'm gonna need to put some shades here. Yes, and this some or and this orange and this orange color of orange spots or oh, I'm not sure what to call this one So we're gonna put some spots there and here so that it will look more um, realistic for So I think I'm gonna put details on the on the on the ears. So I'm gonna use the number one liner brush, which I'm white. So I'm gonna use Greek color first. So I'm gonna mix white with raw umber to make it gray. Make sure it's fluid. Huh. Just dip the tip of your brush into the water to make it fluid to make it wet and then we're gonna put some details here oh, this is gonna be a little tricky everyone and the four and also some lines here yeah make it plenty as possible Okay, and also on the other side, his leaf air. This 
this time I'm gonna put some long gear here and some highlights on that on the edge. I'm gonna mix for orange and I need to refill some yellow on the palette so I'm gonna need some red and yellow And white to make it um, opaque to here. We're gonna add some orange color of the hair of the fur, not hair, everyone. Sorry, it's the fur. And then also this one. And then I'm gonna add some pure white. So using this pure white here. So some highlights on the hair of this of the hair. No, not hair but for sorry everyone. <laughs> So this one Make sure that you're using the tip of your brush Drop a tiny 
your details. Yeah, it looks fine. Okay, so I think it's time to put the stripes, the black stripes. Yeah, I'm very excited to put that. So I'll be using this number eight flat brush, short handle. It's smaller than the long handle, and I'll be using this row umber, plain row umber. Okay, so I'll be putting her first. It's okay if it's not if it's not that accurate. Make it as irregular as possible. Like there are no definite strokes. Make it zigzag or yeah, just like a four. some kind of an eyebrow there <laughs> yeah it looks cute and then on this part there are peak slowly become a tiger now <laughs> but if you want to use uh, black or mix it with uh, blue you can actually use that it's darker than this one So if you want to use some small, if you want to use the smaller, the smaller, the smaller brush, 
actually use that okay some spots or spots Also here. So let's continue adding more. Yeah, yeah. It it is now becoming more tiger than a than a fox. Okay, continue. So here, this will be darker shades here. So here I think this part should be black or dark, not black. So you can even if you want to use the black, just mix the umber with with the blue to make it darker. You do not need to use. You do not need to buy black here. Actually, I am teaching you how to mix the colors. That it's uh, way better than buying black. And also, if you already know how to paint, if you want to know how to paint, you need to know how to mix first. Actually, I'm not going to make it as smooth as possible.
Lynn also here. part will be a little complicated so you can use the the smaller brush So I'll just follow the details on the picture. that yeah I think it's okay it looks fine there Also here, there are certain spots. It looks like a tiger now, and also the body. But before we can forget that, just make it look like more abstract it's fine yeah anyway our focus here is the portrait of the tiger
Okay. Yeah. I think it looks great. So I'll be finishing this one by retouching. So here I'm gonna use the raw umber first with a little white to make it gray. Yes. I'm gonna put a little tiny retouch here on the nose part. And then I'll be using some red, raw umber, and white. I think I'm gonna mix it with a little yellow. So the nose should be pink or a little pinkish in color. There. And also the mouth part. They should have a little pink there. Like it looks like a tongue. Then using the this grayest color here, yeah, I'll just mix this grayest color. Get something. So I'm gonna use some dark, darker umber, and let's put a little tiny details here. There. Okay. So I'm gonna use red and white to make it to make it pink and I'm gonna lighten this part here. And in here. To have a realistic nose. So now I'll be adding some longer hair. So I'll be using some white. Mix it with here. Do not use too white. So I'm mixing it with the grayest color to make it a little grayest, but it's a light gray. And add some water in it to make it fluid and it will be easier for us to create the strokes, tiny strokes. So make sure that Make sure that our brush is pointed, yeah, pointed enough. So here. There. 
maybe I will try to put to use pure white. So I'm gonna put more long for here on this part. Yeah. I want to put more. Some are in any directions. There. And also here. So here Okay, that's it. So, yeah, make sure that you control your hands so that you can have a smaller four. Okay, and here I'm gonna put more um, four on the sides. So here, you're seeing this small brush. I 
should put uh, bigger data, uh, plenty of smaller details here. And I'm gonna make the head a little bigger on this part. I'm gonna expand this part here. Sorry. So I'm gonna put more. Yeah. Just to make it look more fury. can now see plenty of details there and I'll be using white with a mixture of yellow yeah just white and yellow everyone I think a little amount of red make it more yellowish like a light yellowish and then we need to uh, yellowish details here And also here. There. Can add a little red and yellow. And in here. And in here also. Just to, to make it look that it has plenty of details on it. Like a four. These tiny details will make it look. So look, it will make this painting look more detailed. So we need to add more.
and in here also make the detail more uh, thick short like this one yeah there okay Yeah, it's it's now one hour and thirty minutes for this painting, so I think I did great on this on this very short time over here also. We need to add more orange here. Just make this part more yellowish. Just make this word more yellowish. Okay. There. So I think only this part, and then I am done, everyone. It's okay. So I'll be using now the number eight flat brush. Then using some yellow and white, I'll be making this part glow. There. Then I'm mixing yellow and orange, yellow and red to make it orange. So I'll just make this part a little abstract because I think I have no time now. I don't want to make this tutorial very long, so just do it as um I just want it to be short as possible and uh, educational at the same time. Okay, there. So everyone, I think I am done with my simple short tutorial on how to paint this um, this tiger so I want to say thank you everyone for watching this video today so I hope you are learning and if you are painting with this follow what I'm doing and just I think I'm I'm not sure if I'm going to retouch more but I think I'm going to make the background fine darker yes I'm gonna make it that darker and if ever I'm gonna need to if ever I'm gonna need to retouch here so I'll just put it there to make it fine so as for the tutorial this will be good and okay everyone so i want to say thank you for watching this video today and i hope you get something out of this and my only advice is to keep on practicing keep on painting the more you do it the more you know how to use your brush the more you will know how to mix the colors that's why i'm using limited colors in palette because i want you to learn on how to mix and get the desired colors you want 
So please hit like, add some comments, subscribe for more videos in the future. Okay, once again, thank you. Have a nice day and God bless you all. All the glory and honor and praise always belongs to the Lord.